a this is the fourth day I've used the Chris Bradley razor from Carve uh, in a row and that's because I got two open comb plates in the mail and I was really happy to receive them really enjoyed using the A the B was yesterday between those two was the A solid bar so following the pattern today is the B solid bar so I can compare it with the open comb yesterday in it I'm going to put the same blade that I've been using a pretty fresh Gillette silver blue it's got four uses on it the brush I'm going to be using is the Simogue 2000 and it is a uh, a little bit bigger than the bore I used the other day it's got a, lot, a, little, a few more fibers bristles a little bit bigger diameter and it's got nice long fibers as well so that it uh, um, it's broken in really nicely and so it's a very comfortable brush I'm a big fan so far of this brush and it's the last one in my Borathon to have 12 uses on it so as you can see here we are we're putting the blade in and so now it's going to have 13 uses and all the other bores the other six also have 13 and it is I'm a big fan of it right now I'm gonna this is the 2000 it's got kind of a, a short handle I've gotten used to using it um, it's it's kind of girthy, so it's not too bad. But if this continues to be one of my favorites, I'll bet I'm going to uh, just take a saw and cut the knot out of this handle, and then replace, re-put that put that uh, knot in something uh, a little bit more ergonomic. I've had this soak in for maybe an hour. The bore brush and distilled water. The bowl I'm going to use here is a uh, 3D printed bowl design Roger Quintero and uh, the links to the files if you have access to a 3d printer will be in the description I've heard that some public libraries in some municipalities have 3d printing of services available there are also some online services if you want to search those unfortunately I can't recommend one because I've never had anything printed it's just kind of a new tech a new genre for me even though I'm a computer guy the um, Soap we're going to be using today, a little sample, and it's called Valley of Ashes. And the smell, it's a very manly scent, a lot of manly notes. Um, we're looking at uh, coal, tar, bourbon, tobacco, bitter citrus, smoke, leather, motor oil, burning rubber, diesel, clove, birch tar, and bergamot. So those are some pretty strong scents. Now, the ones that jump out at me as it's in its dry form before the lather are maybe the tar, the birch tar, um, the uh, little bit of leather, mostly the... Those are the some, the some that really uh, stand out. So this is a exclusive from Southern Witchcrafts and it's part of the um, I think it's the is it the Great Gatsby there's West Egg that just came out uh, I don't know a month ago uh, kind of a champagne uh, type fragrance with some other things of course as well um, and then there's going to be East Egg I think that's later but this is the uh, the middle part and it's uh, it's all related to that whole storyline uh, Valley of Ashes, you can read up on it online. Southern Witchcrafts is not affiliated with witches. Um, I did check with them about that. Um, that's kind of important to me. And they just like that decor, that style. Uh, they're interested in spiritual things, but it's, uh, you know, they're not pursuing that kind of, uh, you know, that kind of practice in any real tangible way. And uh, this reminds me of maybe the chiseled face Midnight Stag um, because of the, the pungency of the uh, ingredients, the scent profile. I'm going to load up about a quarter teaspoon. It's very soft, very soft one, almost like a cream. I think it could 
probably be a cream if it wanted to. Might be in, be in a tube and be pretty easily dispensed. Um, and it is something, this, uh, right now we are in early May, and I believe uh, <clears throat> something like May 11th or something like that, this is going to go on sale. So uh, I definitely requested a sample once I saw that, uh, the list of scent notes, because that's just, yeah, this is very soft. So we'll just see. Sometimes if it's so soft, it's a little difficult to get kind of out of the spoon. Quarter teaspoon. And it's, so this is, since it's another, a nice thing about it being so soft, it's just, just not going to take anything to integrate it into the, the lather. So, you know, I tried to do as best I could. I also don't want to spend forever doing this. I mean, I value your time as well. I'm going to wash my spoon off. Also throw some water on my own face. All right. So, again, distilled water. Room temperature. Shake most of the water out. This is a bigger brush than a lot of my other pours. Uh, especially the, the some other Samogues. And uh, it holds a lot of water. And so now let's just mix up here. Another thing I like about Southern Witchcrafts, the, uh, the people behind it are really nice. Uh, just a big part of the online community. Very helpful to folks. They put out quality stuff. They sense they put out are just really interesting. There was this one called Pomona, and it was an apple and a wine type scent, and I just thought it was so amazing. I just f fell in love with it. But then something happened, and those those two my, the two of my favorite parts of that accord just kind of fell away during the shave when it became a wet lather. So you know that that one wasn't for me, but. They've got others, and I like the strengths. I like the scent strength of, that they have with their products as well. With many soaps, a quarter teaspoon is uh, plenty. Often that gives me one or two passes at the end of the shave of extra lather. So let's fill up our syringe here and add some water it's already kind of a cream so i'm curious as to how much water maybe it won't take very much i'm gonna be a little conservative i don't think i added a whole teaspoon i don't think there are other soaps that i have from them are quite so creamy i wonder if it's a new base This is what it looks like so far. Pretty good quantity. It's, it's building up with that, with the addition of that water. Go ahead and add another half teaspoon. We've got a polo on today. The kids had a concert at school, so I'm dressed a little bit more civilly, a little nicer. Than what I usually do. Oh wow! Something else just came out. That that um, the burning rubber and the tar kind of has given way. It's uh, what could that be? bergamot maybe some maybe a little bit of yeah the bergamot it's, a, it's a, kind of almost like a, a, a smell you'd expect 
to uh, to get in a shaving lather not some of these strange crazy things like motor oil and stuff you know very interesting So many of those strong, pungent things have just uh, subsided. Sometimes there are scents that do that. They have uh, the nature of, of certain parts of the fragrance uh, cause it to be released quickly and then fade. Others are kind of in the medium kind of zone where they are there for a while. And then you've got underlying parts of the accord where uh, yeah, I think they're called bass notes. And they um, are kind of there the whole time. They maybe last the longest. Uh, and they're a little smoother. They're not very pungent. And so a lot of times they can serve to ground a, uh, a recipe. Lather looks tremendous. It's really nice. Just add this other half. So now we've got two teaspoons in it. A little bit more stirring. I'm really happy I don't really smell the clove. I'm not a clove fan. Could be a little bit of birch tar. It's not super bitter what's coming through. Motor oil, leather. Hmm, hard to say. My nose is not that well trained, I guess. Not a surprise. I kind of knew that. I guess I'm better than average, but this blend is above my pay grade. Well, this lather has turned into uh, a lather that's no longer hugging on the, along the top of the bowl, but it's kind of fallen in. Look at the viscosity and look at that. Look at that stretch. You see that long stalactite there and the guy below. Look at that elasticity. Let's try shaving with this. That might be a good place to stop. It may need some more water, but let's just try this. I'm going to pause you. Uh, now I'll just throw some water on my face. 24 hours. Growth is what we're dealing with today. I do have a uh, cut up thumb. It's paring a block of cheese. And I, a knife is just really sharp. Cheese was kind of hard and gave way and cut myself. Well, this brush is just super comfortable. Uh, as you may have seen, I did put two black O-rings there around the base of the knot. Um, this guy really could splay a lot more than I, I might want, and so that's why I put those in. It kind of reins in the, the tips. Because, you know, you want the softness to be uh, feelable instead of just splaying out to the side. At least I do. Lather feels very good on the face. You know, it's backed off in terms of the strength. It's it's present, but it's not it's not medium. It's more like a four out of ten, something like that. All right. I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, water. Where's my add a little bit of water thing? Here we go. Very nice. All right. Wipe away the un 
shavable area. And here we go with the B plate, closed comb, car of Christopher Bradley razor. This is a wonderful shave. I tend to go for the A. Because the B kind of gave me the same results but as the A, but it just wasn't quite as smooth as the A. But this is doing really well. I do have a little tiny bit of blade feel. So this is a little smoother than the open comb, but just slightly smoother. Um, the timeless solid bar versus the open comb, for me at least, there was a huge difference between the aggression and the feel of those. Where this, it's a smaller note. Um, it's a smaller difference. A little bit more blade feel with the B open comb. Um, and this guy, a um, little bit more blade feel than the A. Uh, maybe kind of analogous to the uh, to the A open comb, uh, but no, nah, the A open comb had a little bit more blade feel as well. But they both are almost. It's so funny. Uh, the A open comb. It almost felt smoother than this, smoother than the B solid bar but there was more blade feel. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe because it was just lining up exactly right with my skin. And so the blade wasn't, it was just cutting hairs and it was cutting them close at just the right, uh, at just the right elevation across my skin. I don't know. That's just kind of the way it feels. Whereas the B has that uh, protected feel of the safety bar. Uh, we're ready to rinse. I'll go ahead and do that. But the, the B that I'm using right now, closed comb, you do feel more of the, the metal parts and things. Uh, and you also feel the, the cutting action a little bit. But it's, it's just not as crisp and precise a feel as when it's the uh, open comb. They're all wonderful in terms of none of these are too aggressive for me at all. I feel safe and confident using them. The blades in, in all of the different base plates are clamped down really well right to the edge. And so that inspires that kind of confidence and smoothness because you're not getting a little blade chatter uh, from those types of very common heads that support it from the bottom only in this kind of the center of the blade. But uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm liking this guy. He's... Uh, he's still on the mild side, but he's got a little bit more of a feel than the A. And uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna put just a little bit of water on my face. And then I think I nailed the, uh, the lather here. In terms of consistency and viscosity, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So... Just two. Teaspoons of water. Quarter teaspoon of soap. We'll see how much lather we have left at the end of the shave. Very comfortable brush. And now uh, cross grain here.
very nice. You know, this could be my daily driver too. The, especially the A. The A just felt magical. I don't know. I'll have to try it again to see if the feeling's still the same. And when I say when I say A, uh, I mean the A um, open comb. I do care for the closed comb a lot on the A. That's kind of my go-to just for smoothness. That's just kind of the kick I'm on lately. The uh, burning rubber scent starting to come back. Who knows? Maybe that's the kind of scent that your nose can get used to, and then you don't smell it anymore. There's a group of scents that do that do that, or many of them. Many of them do. So when you're smelling a lot of different fragrances, you have to get some uh, bitter, like coffee beans, and smell those, and to help reset your palate. Because you can get kind of overwhelmed. I think I left a little bit too much moisture on my face. But this lather, I've got it dialed in really nice because I'm getting the wonderful balance of good slickness. My razor is just gliding nicely across my face. But I'm getting these nice creamy rinses. Just feels terrific between the passes. So um, uh, I don't know if this is a new base from Southern Witchcrafts, but it's a good one. Whatever it is, very very nice. There, the smells a little stronger now. Let's say five out of ten instead of the four I got earlier. Yeah, it's nice. It's you. I am not smelling a lot of the different notes that were mentioned. I'm probably just smelling a few. Oh, the leather's there. Yeah, yeah. That leather and the burning rubber. Those, for some reason, those kind of go together really well. Balance each other, not really balance each other, but they just blend well. Who would have thought that? As usual, just a light touch on the razor. Right now, just kind of a pencil grip, kind of right in the middle. I talked about that a lot, but see, the razor can move, and I'm not trying to force it with leverage or anything like that. I want it to just glide over the skin. Very nice. Comfortable shave. Manly scents. I was hoping to be able to pick out more of the, of the notes than I have been. Um, that bergamot or whatever it is that's kind of uh, softening up all those other notes uh, it's a little uh, I think bergamot is in the, the kind of the orange citrus family and, uh, and that's coming through and I, I like that um, that makes it totally not some kind of weird garage you know type fragrance but it uh, anchors it to the shaving world pretty well. Um, but unfortunately, not too much of the other stuff, at least to my nose, is not super evident. I'm sure it's there, and maybe the, the medley there is, is, is what I'm getting. But, uh, yeah, uh, performance is outstanding. I like the scent. And final rinse. So the lather performance was excellent. And I just checked everything. The shave closeness was also really good. I can't go against the grain, especially on my neck, um, without severe penalties. And it went very well. I got nice, close cuts, even in my trouble spot. The uh, Just some tips I'm seeing. No length on those tips uh, of the my beard and bristles in these areas. 
Uh, cheeks look and feel excellent, very smooth. Yeah, really nice. Um, happy all the way around with uh, with this soap. The um, you know I already talked about the scent, um, and uh, yeah, I like it. Don't know whether I'll buy it quite yet. Uh, I don't think it. To me, maybe it doesn't stand out too much from the awesomeness of what I like about Midnight Stag. The tar and some of those other ingredients are, are common to both. Um, but, uh, but I've got a, a good sample of this. I should be able to shave with it about four times. And uh, sometimes you warm up to a scent. Sometimes you notice different things after repeated uses. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Um, so uh, happy with the soap. Love this brush. It performed really well. The uh, the B plate solid bar did really well today. Gave me the close shave I was talking about, and uh, the B open comb versus the B solid. It is uh, yeah, just a little bit more blade feel, but still a uh, not so much that uh, if if you liked the B and you just wanted a touch more. Uh, blade feel and indeed there's almost a it's hard to describe there's a lightness to the open comb maybe because the uh, you don't have the the same contact uh, the amount of contact of the material of the uh, of the safety bar here you've got more contact with this than you do the open comb and so uh, maybe that adds to the feel of the uh, of just kind of being free um, and with the, the blade uh, having a little bit more exposure, but still being able to cut really well. And so it doesn't feel more aggressive, but you still feel the blade. It's an interesting uh, distinction that I'm seeming to feel with these, uh, with these plates. And, uh, uh, and so you, you feel more of the razor, uh, the surface of it. Obviously, the top cap is the same for both types of base plates, but because of that open comb uh, being missing material, it uh, I think that that has something to do with the feel of the shave, and it just uh, it feels like again like there's some kind of a real professional barber, and so you feel that edge, but you also feel it cutting really well. And that's a nice feeling. I don't quite get that with this because of all the kind of the shielding of the safety bar. Uh, this is going to be more mild in general, uh, probably. Uh, so you just pick what kind of feel you want. It's uh, my opinion. Uh, the two teaspoons of water is all we added. I did squirt, add a few squirts to the brush in that first pass. Um, so that's that uh, quarter teaspoon of soap. And how much do we have left? This is about perfect um, because I do like to have uh, one pass or so left for touch-ups and things like that. And look at that consistency. Some people that doesn't take as good of a picture sometimes as some people might like. And uh, but it's got the performance. The performance is just excellent when the soap is like that. And this is held up for a good bit, so it's not dissipating at all. Just a really nice, really nice lather. Um, so in terms of quantity, it looks like that quarter teaspoon is going to be the amount I would keep using of this particular soap base to get the amount of lather that I want. Uh, in addition to that bergamot, I think I'm smelling a little bit of that bitter citrus. And I bet it might be combining with maybe the motor oil uh, to give me a, the, what, I'm, what I'm smelling. It's, it's nice. I like it. So here's this brush after a good dropping. And uh, nice long bristles. Rained them in. So if I move this to another handle, I might sink it deeper into the, into the handle. So maybe I wouldn't need the O-rings. So that's something to think about. A lot of these tips have split. I think that's part of the reason for its excellent, excellent comfort. Hmm, what kind of, um, still smelling the, the soap on me. That's nice. I think this is a, uh, this is a blend that I definitely might have to look at. A lot of, uh, 
the samples I'll just use once and move on but uh, this is one I think I'm definitely going to need to revisit because of what I mentioned earlier just appreciating different aspects of it uh, kind of each time you use it I'm looking forward to trying that out so I want to maybe keep that sent around so I'm going to bring in my soap commander integrity and this is the unscented and it's the menthol free most of theirs do have menthol but I'm not a menthol fan this isn't heavy or greasy to me and I've got oily skin so I would probably be able to feel if it was you know too heavy I think it's just right see if it uh, if it dampens the scent hopefully not all right excellent so the a head for the a plate or the Christopher Bradley is decidedly in the smooth camp but it's still efficient it still cuts really well the B is a step toward the middle it's not in the middle I think the C for me is the one that's kind of in the middle where it rides this nice line between efficiency and comfort and so B is the, the com more comfortable side of that. I have a little bit, uh, whereas A is smooth, B introduces a little bit of that feel, a little bit of the cutting feel, and then the, uh, uh, then the C is, is just the blend, a nice blend. So that's how I see it. I've done the best I could to try to describe the differences and the nuances between the, the open combs and the solid bars now that I've tried uh, both variations in both the A and the B plates. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to say that the differences are, are somewhat minor. And so that lets us really be able to fine tune our shaves by uh, listening to people's advice and then purchasing uh, the, the, bar, the uh, plates that we're interested in. And there's nice trade, there's a nice used market available. And so if you miss one, if you get it wrong, trade it trade it for one or sell it and then use that money to buy buy another one and that's 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 what I do uh, so with the solid bar see if I can phrase it one last different way with a solid bar you do get the feel of the hairs being cut but you also get the feel of that razor along with it the, the head of the razor moving across your face with the open comb that feel of the head isn't quite as much there and then you get a little bit of extra blade feel but it's not an aggressive type of feel uh, it's just a hairs being cut kind of feel so in both cases you you feel things being cut a little bit i think with the uh um, and so i'm so glad that it's it's just a, a minute differences between each one to let us be able to really find our favorite uh, our favorite heads instead of making huge jumps where we have to try to compromise and figure out which one we want to use uh, if they make the measurements a little too a little too large in between the plates so super happy super happy with the a and the a open comb the b and the b open comb any of these four i could use as a daily driver and really enjoy my shaves so it's kind of a win 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 all right, well, I think we're good. Um, I'm still smelling some of this stuff coming off my face. Really happy with that. I'm looking forward to continuing with this soap to see if my nose can discover new aspects to it. Uh, really happy all the way around on that. And I, uh, I tried my best to give you the, uh, a good insight if, uh, if you're thinking about some of these base plates. And I hope it helps you in some way. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You take care and good night.